Hi, Orange Girl here, and I am here to share with you the October 2018 click kit called Gather. I just recently joined their YouTube team, and this is my first kit as part of their YouTube team. And so I'm getting on here really quick just to kind of show you. It came in the mail today, and I'm super excited about it. So I'm going to set some of I've already opened some of the things so that I reduce some of the amount of plastic noise as I'm opening things. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and get started with just the the papers first and then we'll get into the embellishments and stickers and things so this kit starts out with this gorgeous paper which is by it's vellum and it is uh, most of the items included in the kit are from pink paisley's auburn lane and this has a beautiful like mauve pink color um, of vellum and then these gorgeous flowers that are outlined in gold beautiful beautiful I love that there's lots of florals in this kit I will say that it still looks very fall and so unbelievably pretty and you could just never have too many florals in my opinion so um, this is sheet one and this one is um, pattern paper one has this cutter part and then on the other side is this gorgeous mauve pink color um, with a little bit of a pattern in it but very easy on the eyes you could totally use that as a background very easily um, this one is a wood grain paper. It's a real dark wood grain that goes right in with fall. This is the number two from Auburn Lane. And then on the back is this gorgeous black and white floral, more florals. I could totally see painting these. Um, or because I, you know, I kind of, I dig that mixed, mixed media look. But I could also see just using this as a background or even cutting them apart. Doing a little fussy cutting. Speaking of fussy cutting, I could totally see fussy cutting this one as well. It's gorgeous. This is the number three paper and it has um, various shades of kind of like a wine and a mauve color and then some different greens with this dark green pattern on the back. Sheet number five has these houses, which very much fits kind of we're getting into the holiday season, believe it or not. And um, all of these would be great with family um, type um, gatherings, thus being called Gather, this kit. Um, then on the back is, um, it's almost a black and it uh, looks kind of um, like honeycomb um, pattern. And then, oh, uh, this is, this one, when I saw it um, in the sneaks, I was like, oh, I love, 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 love this. Um, I love the way that it looks like it's painted, um, maybe even oil painted. Um, gorgeous. I love these flowers on the back. Black background. This is the number six paper. And then on the other side, it has a small text, um, green on green though, so it's not super noticeable, but it says things like, thank you, hello, friends giving, I love you, um, best day ever, those sorts of things. This paper is um, the number seven, and it is just a bunch of triangles, as you can see, but they're, I love the pattern of it. It's got a nice mixture of wood grain and text and floral. And then this beautiful pink on the background with a small stripe diagonally. Um, I like this, I could totally see using it as a background easily, easily, no problem. But I think I'll probably end up having to cut up those triangles. I think that's what's gonna happen. This is number eight and it has a great um, floral on this side, but it's still pretty, um, what I wanna say. Um, it's not, it doesn't stand right out and so it's subdued. Um, it's pretty easy on the eye, so you could easily use that as a background and have it not overpower the page. However, <laughs> I will probably use this side. I love this, it's great. It has small text included in the stripes and there's even a little bit of floral right in here in a couple other spots as well. So that's that, I love that paper. Love, love, love that. This is the number 10 and it is another smaller floral. And then a gorgeous mustard yellow on the back, but it looks kind of mixed media-ish. It has some um, variation in the yellow, almost like a watercolor. And then also included in the kit this month is a piece of white corrugated card or cardstock. And so if you want to take a look here, these are all the A sides of the paper. And then I'll do a quick flip here. I'm gonna get that one out of the way. And then these are the B sides. So like I said, I mean they all come from the same the same um 
designer, but they're very much, uh, very versatile. You could use them for lots of different things. Um, and I already have a few ideas just from looking through these as to some upcoming layouts I can't wait to get started with. So now let's look at what we have for embellishments. Um, the embellishments that came this month are varied a bit, I think. Um, I'll be really honest with you, these are not really my style. That I, I wouldn't put them for me on a layout. Other people put these on layouts and make them look gorgeous. Me, not so much. I'm also not really good at bows. I love bows. I think they're absolutely gorgeous on layouts. I can never make them work. I don't know what it is. So maybe I'll have to grow a little this, <laughs> this month and try to figure out, uh, challenge myself to use um, some of these gorgeous flowers because they are very pretty and they come with the Auburn Lane. But I could also see using these um, as part of like an off the page sort of thing. Um, I could see using them in home decor uh, related things, especially for fall theme. And I could also see using these on the cover of a mini book, which is where um, I sometimes can use these type of flowers. So that might be a way for me to go to challenge myself to use these. So there's those. And then the sticker sheets that come with the Auburn Lane um, collection are included in this kit. And they have gorgeous little florals, um, a lot of uh, gold, it's kind of a copper or rose gold maybe it's called, I'm not sure, accents um, on it, on um, both sides here. Flowers, I like these little um, squares here, those are cute. Make someone smile, you make me happy. I could totally see some of these on cards as well as layouts. Um, the floral, they're kind of big, um, thickers, I like them. I could see making a pretty big title with those. Those are great and they match perfectly with the um, the papers. Whoa, oh, <laughs> okay, so I have lights set up and the light just fell off because I just did that. Maybe I can cut that out. Maybe I won't. Maybe you'll just see this is my life. Alrighty then. Hopefully you can still see. Okay. <laughs> Next, let's talk about this. This is Jen Hadfield. And Jen Hadfield makes some really great papers. Um, especially, I always think of fall when I use her things. Um, and so this, these fit so nicely in with this kit. I love the um, darker wood grain that goes with that wood grain paper and some of the other smaller elements within it. Um, let's see. Some of the exclusives this month, there is a pack of, um, just a bunch of like index type cards. Um, I could see using these, um, as part of a mini book. I could see using these as journaling spots. Um, I could use these behind my photo as a layer. So those are great. As well as, I love it when these little glassine bags are included because I, lo I love to use these behind a photo and then put a tag in here for some hidden journaling or whatever. Speaking of tags, um, another exclusive that usually comes in the kit is this um, printable uh, cut apart. Um, it usually comes with tags as this one does. And um, so there's some strips that you could use as well as some tags and some nice little sentiments that go with it and florals. These you could use a circle punch to punch them out. Um, another exclusive with this kit are these great uh, flare buttons, which as you can see, it kind of all matches quite nicely. Um, and then finally, um, the ephemera pack from Pink, Pink Paisley from Auburn Lane. Looks a little bit like this. I've already taken it out. When I get my stuff, um, when I get a new uh, collection or a new kit to use, um, I oftentimes will just take and put them in some sort of, like these I got from Target, I think. Um, it's just easier for me to kind of leaf through and get um, an idea of some of the things included in the ephemera pack. Um, so just to give you an idea, there are some frames, um, quite a few little frames. There are, there's that little bunny that's, there's a sticker like that too, some um, tags. Um, there are some little elements like, um, I love the little tabs. There are some things you could use for titles like the thank you, um, thankful. You could always, if you're a card maker, you could also use those as um, uh, on a card. I could totally see that. A lot of these actually I could see using on a card. You are the best. Enjoy the little things. And then a bunch of little hearts and tags. Um, 
various t sizes of tags, flowers, of course, um, some food. Throughout the whole thing, there are some elements that are related to eating or food, um, like whether it's pears or like the house. Um, I feel like it's kind of a home thing and there are some other little like this, like a cutting board, right? That's what that is? Okay. Yeah, you can see I'm the cook in the family. Um, so <laughs> all of these nice little journaling spots. So that's the kit. Um, there are, a, I've been told that there are two frames that were on back order. And so those are coming to me um, in the mail. Probably they're on their way, but I did not want to wait <laughs> to share um, what I got. So I go, went ahead and just went ahead and, and went at, bleh, I went ahead. Can I say that again? I went ahead and um, got on to just go ahead and do this um, video. But um, if you go on the website, you can see, and I'll link that below, you can see some close-ups of what those frames look like as well. So thanks a lot for stopping by. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this so that I can start playing with this. Talk to you later. Bye.